troubles for one Elk Grove homeowner whose roof was badly damaged when a park tree crashed right into her home during the January storms. Well, now she's worried it will happen again. CBS 13's Ashley Sharp is in our newsroom getting answers for us on why a simple tree removal won't happen, Ashley. Hey guys, well, this homeowner first reached out to CBS 13 back in September, worried that her newly repaired roof would fall victim once again to falling trees. We took her questions to district leaders as she feels she's not being heard. The branches, they're hovering over our roof. That's a scary sight for Catherine Ho, considering this was her roof in January when a Kasumnas Park District tree crashed onto her Elk Grove home during a powerful band of storms. I'm very nervous because right now our roof is just temporarily fixed. Rainy season is coming up. These two leaning trees are why she reached out to CBS 13 for help. She fears they'll topple too, worried about more damage and someone getting hurt. They're both slanted toward my house and they can fall anytime. The Kasumnas Community Services District is in charge of maintaining this green belt. CBS 13 asked the district, have these trees been checked? A spokesperson said a tree not growing perfectly symmetrical is not necessarily an indication that the tree is unhealthy and added that a certified arborist examined those trees and determined they are not a threat. I don't believe that because the tree that fell on my house was a livable tree also until it fell. Catherine wants the trees chopped down. In order to prevent the disaster that would come mm -hmm. later on, and for sure it's imminent. But the park district says that's always a last resort. And I'm trying to prove that it wasn't just an act of nature. Mm -hmm. It was the way the trees were planted mm -hmm. incorrectly from the beginning. A neighbor on a mission and a deadline, hoping this doesn't happen again. Now for months now, Catherine Ho has also fought for the district to compensate her for her damaged roof since it is a park tree that fell. The district tells CBS 13 that her claim was investigated and denied, finding that they were not liable for this storm related damage. Catherine did get a call today, though, from the district saying that they'll be coming out soon to prune those trees for her to prevent limbs from falling.